Hey there, Eric from Ticket Spice here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to explore with you how to use the banner field. Now the banner field is this large graphic here, usually with text over a background image that displays maybe like the title or dates about your event. Sometimes it's called a hero. And this is a really common design element you'll see on website builders. It's available on the Ticket Spice platform as well. And if you don't have it on your page, you want it, you just hit the plus item here and you go over there to banner and that will open up this little modal there. But I'm gonna show you the different settings in here and we've got some really cool features in here for you. And this is just the standard template here for a fictitious music festival. So I'm gonna hit edit here and I'm gonna walk through really some of the different options here. And the first is gonna be the background type and you can have image, you have a solid color if you want with a color picker, video, which I'll show you in a second, and then transparent. So if you just want a transparent kind of window with text, that's great, but I'll leave their image for now. And really the image or background video is kind of the epicenter of what's gonna set the design style and theme. And you can set an effect on here, which is really cool. So maybe I wanna blur over that image and I can set it down to 76%. And here you see that that image now is blurred, super cool. Uh, I also can add another effect, maybe it's a grayscale, and I want to bring it down to 41% grayscale. And so you can start to layer these effects on there for whatever image you upload or add. And so from here, if you wanna remove them, you just hit the trash can. But these effects allow you to set any number of design styles on that image, all without having to get into Photoshop or do special CSS tricks, it's all here. So even saturation, maybe I want it to be, you know, just all black and white, you know, and so I can bring it down there. And then maybe I wanna do a color overlay. We'll just do like a red and bring that up there. And so now you can see from here, you've got a lot of these kind of cool colorizations and effects. So that is how that works. Uh, going down here, the position sets where that image that's in the background here, where it's going to be aligned. And so if you're not pleased with how that is looking, you can try a couple different options like top center. And for example, that'll crop it starting from the top down. So you can use that positioning that to change what that background placement of the image, color, or video is. Next on here, you have an option for making the banner full width or not. And so toggling that off, you can see where it kind of ends there. And so it's really a design kind of style uh, what you want. So I'll make it full width because that's what's typically there. And then you can set a minimum height here as well. So I brought that down. You can see in the background there, it brought the height of it down as well. New in our field here is also these mobile settings because sometimes how you create these on the web for desktop, you want to look a little differently uh, on mobile. And so you can set custom controls here for how high that banner field is on mobile, which is really nice. Now, the other part of the graphical elements that make up a banner field is the text overlay. And so in here, we've got some standard text. And so we have our title here. We can add another line of text and we can say, December 15th, and maybe we want this font to be size, let's go 60, and let's maybe make it a gray. Let's go there, and let's make it bold, and let's hit done, and there you can see how that looks. What's nice about this is that the text will always get centered when you use those standard text controls. So you can keep on adding a number of text lines, and so, However many different text lines you have on there, it'll always be perfectly floated center on top of the image. So in here, you also can choose different fonts as well, but if you wanna match the heading font of your page, just choose the heading font uh, there. Uh, from here also, you can choose whether you want it to be offset to the left and left aligned. That looks good as well. You can, for whatever reason, if you wanna change it to the opposite side, you can go all the way to the right. So those are self-explanatory. And then last on here, you have an option to make the text full width. And so the text full width will allow that text to move all the way to the left side of the image there. And so if that's the design style you want, great, that's what you use that for. So those are those text controls. And if you really wanna have really kind of total control, you don't mind coming outside the lines a little bit, you have this custom WYSIWYG editor and in here, you can add all sorts of formatting and options, but use it at your own risk. These text editors sometimes can uh, be a little bit fickle, so, uh, but that is there for you if you want to 
really have it your own way um, in total control. So that is under the custom WYSIWYG, but most people should keep it on standard, and this is gonna be the best way to do that text. Now, let me talk to you about some of these other options here, in particular, the video background. I'm really proud of this feature here. So I'm gonna back this out, and I'm gonna delete that image, and I'm gonna choose video. And this is going to ask you for a video URL. And you can use Vimeo, you can use YouTube, or you can use any MP4 video out there. And I would recommend using a YouTube video. And the reason for that is because YouTube is going to encode that video several different ways. And if someone is on a low speed internet browser, it's going to deliver a low res video version of it. And you're gonna get a lot of efficiencies using YouTube. So I'm a dirt bike rider, and so I'm gonna take this sample video clip. Now be sure to always use your own videos that you have permission to use, but I'm gonna show you this for example. This is one of my favorite dirt bike riders ever. And I'm going to copy this URL, and I actually like it where it starts at that spot. So I'm gonna copy, start at 22 seconds, and grab that URL. And then I'm going to paste it right in there. And so automatically, right now you can see in the background that that video is playing. Look how cool that looks. So you can add these really amazing video backgrounds to the banner field. And from here, you just begin to modify it with those other controls. Maybe I want it a little bit higher. Let's uh, remove the color overlay. So there you can see it's in full definition. And so that looks pretty cool. But maybe I want to modify it some more. Maybe I want to uh, add just a little bit of a blur just so it's not so crisp. And then let's also add uh, bring down the brightness. Let's take it down to something like that. And so right there you can see, man, that's super, super cool. So again, all those different effects that you have for the images you can use on the videos as well. And so to get an idea of what this looks like on mobile, again, we'll hit save, we'll preview. And here is my beautiful video background. I'll show you what this looks like on mobile. And just like that. You can see it arranges its side, it respects all the formatting and all of the color effects, and so really, really cool. So anyways, love, love that. All right, um, and from there, um, again, you can continue to stack these uh, effects and options to your heart's desire, and it's really, really powerful to make a stunning ticketing page of your dreams. So those are the controls, those are the options there. Hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you feel empowered to make really cool things all without technical knowledge. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit us up for any questions you have. Thank you.